The following video has been approved by the JD marketing team. It is rated JD for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. Good morning and g'day mate. Welcome back to Timberborn with me JD and obviously a drought incoming. So today, today is all about the mega projects. Uh, last episode, last episode we finished off with putting in our final levee across the back of the river, which means all the water is now controlled by us. None of it leaves the map unless we let it, which is good because, like I said, we've got a couple of mega projects trying to get done this episode. First off, first off in our very, well, our second district, the Double Dam district, Double Dam. Double Dam has a couple of objectives. Uh, today, they are going to add in another house. They did do mass wood storage, which was done off camera. There's not a lot to it. There's just many, many, many stacks of wood storage uh, because, well... This district has a certain amount of trees it can chop down after it gets them planted. Uh, it can only plant during the dry season when the water is actually low enough that we can plant. Anyway, um, it is adding an extra house because we sort of maxed out the population. Uh, on top of that, it needs to add in a little bit more, an another water pump. Also adding in a couple extra uh, gather flags and oh well they should be oh no we've already got two forests a couple of couple of gather gather flags in here to grab all the berries also adding in another forester to hopefully get all this planted during the dry season uh also hang on uh upgrading a lot of these trees across to maple because this district is going to be the district for wood uh also i just realized i missed a forester up there so yes uh double dam needs a slightly higher population and has a couple of jobs to get done so that's going to be double dam's project for this episode just get the last little bit of construction done uh, actually they no, they're not marked for cutting uh, let's mark those for cutting as well cool all right so that's double jet double dam's job uh the main district the main district uh which last episode we put in this massive drivetrain from our many many water wheels all the way through and out the back of the district we're gonna get to the back of the district for in it just a second its job is actually a couple of things so first off we're gonna put in a couple a temple and a couple of campfires because why not at the same time we're prepping it's only the prep work currently to uh put a, this rooftop terrace over here uh do we need that roof oh no we need extra rooftop terraces because we don't have enough social life uh at least hang on let's pick this district first then bring up social life yeah we don't have enough social life so we're putting in a couple of extra campfires along with an extra temple because again the spirituality in this district is spirituality isn't quite there so we're just, we're just doing a couple of little minor changes um i did find out and this was just a uh, uh, uh something i noticed along the way uh if you can't put a rooftop ter terrace on the ground but if you happen to put in some platforms uh that then counts towards a rooftop terrace so technically Rather than putting in these campfires, we could just put in some stilts and just put them up a tile. Might be something we do, but yeah, at the moment, just adding in a extra rooftop terrace uh, and a couple of uh, and and a, a temple, just to up the stats a little bit. Uh, at the same time, the main district is also working on putting in some dynamite to set up a brand new district, uh, which we will be hopefully getting started in this episode at least uh just putting a little bit of dynamite you know uh fixing up the brand new district because the brand new district is going to need a water source and that's going to come in from the main lake uh, the main lake which has been set up by our last district the crater lake crater lake is set up and has a couple of things it still needs to get done so it ne still needs to put in a couple of platforms out here to get the last couple of uh, farmers in, the last couple of farmhouses in. At the same time, they're trying to build an actual dam all the way across. I don't know. I don't know if we actually have the reach to get this whole construction done. So we do have a backup plan, which is we build a temporary district just involving a single industrial log pile 
and just have the builders try and get this this last little bit done that's a possibility uh, at the same time we are going to try and get some gather flags oh it has flooded okay i'm going to try and get some gather flags over here and some lumberjack flags at least then we could harvest some of this timber and berries that are all the way over here in this district so uh that's the plan for uh the crater lake district which has plenty of unemployed beavers which is good because they still have a few things they need to do the other thing they uh, that i have set up is we are going to be harvesting wheat, but it means we need a drivetrain. So we need to be able to get power into this district. Now, last episode, we got a drivetrain from uh, the main district all the way out here to the back. But it's not tied into the Crater Lake district. Uh, Double Dam doesn't actually need power. But, you know, Crater Lake does if we're going to have wheat and we're going to have to grind up in a grist mill. So... We also need to get power out here. Now, the other problem I have is our supply for power is, yeah, just under 3,000. And our usage is well over 4,000. So every single machine has a very, very low efficiency. So what I also need to do is have a look at the water flow, which is not terribly fast, which could be a problem, uh, and see whether we can get in a whole bunch of water wheels sort of in here somewhere to get power into, well, if I hit any of these buildings or any of these buildings after that drivetrain goes in, let's bring that back up, uh, we're going to be able to transfer power from the houses into the large warehouses into the grist mill. So, we need to start off with, like I said, this episode is going to have a few big building projects. So, we're going to start off with power. Uh, we're going to put in power wheels. The, ooh, water wheels. Water wheels. Uh, and we need to look at the water flow. So water's obviously coming out. I'm thinking... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to put in... Uh, actually, we're going to start with the water wheels themselves. So I'm going to have a one-tile gap. That way I can build something under here so beavers can actually walk through we're definitely going to go three across we're going to put in one of those with a four-way power shaft and then what we're going to do is we're going to put in levees along here the idea being that we can direct the water and we can bring the water in this direction now the water obviously flows down this side of Crater Lake and potentially around this side of Crater Lake. So there's also a chance we might end up building water wheels on this side as well. At the moment, the water flow not fast. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's enough to turn the water wheels. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Okay, uh, so first project is not done. Not that. Come on, beavers. Nothing to do in range. Because nobody built your stairs. Well, be patient. Uh, building lacks power. Yeah, we know about you. Unconnected building. We know about you. Flooded building. We know about you. Yeah, when, when the dry season comes in, you'll, you'll be fine. Breeding halted. Uh, you have no berries. Yeah, because the berries just came online. Yep, okay. Uh, building lacks materials. We ran a scrap. Well, pause. Uh, we've obviously pulled up all the scrap. Uh, building lacks materials, which is wheat. We had a heap of wheat. We do. Go find the wheat, you lazy beaver. Uh. And you lack potatoes. Uh, yeah, well, the potatoes haven't exactly come into season yet. So there's not a lot I can do about that. Okay, so uh, that's going to be our plans. Yeah, this water doesn't really move. I don't know how successful water wheels are going to be. At three times speed, the water moves a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, uh... So, first thing is, we need to wait for this dynamite to be put in. Alright, so with dynamite in place, uh, the very first thing we can do, of course, at night time, because that's the best time to watch an explosion. But I 
Perfect. Okay. So, plan is we're just going to bring this down another level. So, again, more explosives. We have a lot of explosives. Like, a lot, a lot of explosives. So, explosives don't really worry us too much. Uh, do I need... Yeah, I need to put two at the end. Because they're not done either. Okay, so we need to take this down another level so we can actually get to the water. So we can flow the water in here for a future district. A future district, which is going to be a very important district. It's going to really help our colony thrive. Uh, at the same time... You guys can still reach. You guys can still reach. Okay, so we... Oh, and let's prioritize that as well. Cool. Cool. Again, we're just waiting on beavers. Alright, so the drought has officially started. It's a five-day drought. It'll be fine. Uh, I don't think we really need to worry about droughts anymore at this stage. I'd really like it if these dem demolitions were done. And unfortunately, the beavers from the main district can't quite reach out to get these last couple of explosives done so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to set up a new district and then once the new district's up and running then we're gonna have to knock out the last couple of tiles which means we have to ship over explosives which is good because i also need to ship over timber so we're gonna have uh this warehouse be filled up with explosives probably this one filled up with uh Exp well, this filled up with wood, this filled up with explosives, probably some food as well. I should probably ship over some food. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, let's go with desired none. I oh, know, allowed none. Okay, so we want to ship over. We have a lot of potatoes. Okay, so let's go with potatoes. Uh, not potatoes, potatoes. We want cooked potatoes. Grilled potatoes. I would like uh, 500. Uh, explosives, I would like uh, 500. How much do we have in stock? Uh, 200, okay. Um, what else do we want to ship across? That's probably just about it for the moment. Unfortunately, the main district has a small problem with a ever-expanding population, which means they have a small problem with food, I believe. Yes. So, we also need to ship beavers out of the main district whenever we possibly can. Uh, you have room for about 40 beavers. Uh, cool. Main district, uh, migrate population to Crater Lake. Send over 40. Excellent. Okay, that'll ease the food situation there. And as for... Why didn't I put a rooftop terrace there? I don't know. Probably because I saved it in case I want more housing. And you can house another 32 beavers. Not that you really need the population. Uh, plant, maple, all the way through there, all the way through there. Uh, How are they ever planted? Neither of you can reach. Yeah, neither of you could ever reach. Okay. Uh, because it's in a drought, we should slowly drop the water level because I haven't actually turned anything off. All right, we're just letting the water flow. I'm not even turning off the pumps because we have, not that we can see it. Can we minimize that and minimize that? Uh, actually, we have zero unemployed. That's fairly impressive. Uh, we did get that water wheel in, but not the drivetrain that actually makes it do anything. Awesome. Uh, so we need to get that done still. And are those explosives done? They are. Okay, we need to set these off before we move over our new colony. Wonderful. Because uh, we actually need to build a path across. Uh, we're going to need to have a path across into the new colony. So that is sort of super high priority. Uh, at the same time, the main colony at least has building supplies. Because we're going to sort of need a path all the way down this whole thing. Uh, so we're going to... 
set up a lot of platforms. This is going to become like the main road of the new district. Uh, so yeah, we need to set that up as well. It's, like I said, today's episode is all about those big building projects. As for Crater Lake, there's the town center. There we go. I know we can still reach things. That's good. They're still getting there. Uh, they now have unemployed beavers, that's for sure. Let's prioritize that and prioritize that. Because we've told them to cut all the trees on the far side, because that's going to get flooded. Uh, they're also cutting... Uh, oh, that's maple. Actually, that's going to have some decent amount of logs. So we're trying to get this finished. Uh, and then we'll look at cutting down these trees and a few other things. After the beavers get all the jobs done. Alright. It's a new morning. Last day of the drought. And I think we've reached just about as far as we can reach. Yeah, we're not going any further. So, we've got to as far as Crater Lake can actually get into this dam. We're still, what, four four pieces short? So it's like 60 wood, 60 wood short. So we need to work on that. Uh, at the same time, uh, the main district has got most of this path in. Not quite all of it. At the same time, I've also set up some pumps for our future district. We're going to be putting a future district over here. And uh, as for... Really? On the last day of the drought, and the water hasn't even gone low enough. Oh, okay. Let's drop you down. Let's hope it doesn't flood. Let's drop you down to half a height as well. Uh, this I, ha I can't adjust. We have 30 odd wood. So what I want to do is I want to put in... Uh, we're going to play hopscotch with a brand new district. Uh, we want a drop-off point can be here. Uh, we are going to unpause you because you have 43 unemployed beavers, which is perfect. We're going to send a new district to here. B logs, okay. Uh, we're also going to demolish that one tile. Then we can put in a district gate. And then a brand new temporary district right here. Uh, just so we can get the last little bit of construction done. Uh, we're also going to go to here. And I guess uh, we're not going to migrate across moist, rough, saggy, or munchy beaver. We're just going to pick um, 10 minus 5. Let's go with 10 random beavers. And they have no water. They'll technically have food, but they definitely have no water. So we're going to have to, you know, rely on a hope and a prayer to make sure they get water. Uh, we need to ship to their logs as well. We also need to bring in uh, distribution limits. Uh, logs, high number, zero. Yeah. So, high resources above this limit not carried into a district. Uh, above this limit. Okay. Uh, logs. 10,000. Okay. And below this limit and not carried out from a district. And I prioritize by incoming distributors. Okay. So, we're hopefully shipping logs out and into the next district. At the same time, we'll add a new route to there. We want to ship over logs. Uh, we're going to come to this distribution outpost and ship to their logs. And finally, all the way up river uh, is going to be the uh, double dam district. And we're also going to ship over logs, which is somehow short on population. Oh. Yeah, they're short on population. Well... The good news is, we can put another barracks right there. Uh, with a two-step and... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Got a path. Okay, more housing. More housing. And yeah, this water level didn't drop low enough that we got any planting done. Which was not the desired outcome. Uh, let's set you to zero. 
Oh, half, half. Half should let that drain faster. Uh, you're set to zero now. So you should drain at full speed. Obviously, the dams on either side are going to slow it down, but that's fine. And then you should drain. I saw a wheel move. And currently, we're working on beaver pedal power only, which is leading to some problems when it comes to actually getting things done. Uh, we're not obviously making any planks or any gears, or um, we've got 1,200 planks. Never mind. Uh, in that case, let's just very quickly uh, platform, 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 platform. Uh, monuments. I'd like the flames of progress, please. Uh, all the way up there. What does or two or two gives us walking speed plus thirty percent? I will take it. Well, there you go. We now have the Flames of Progress. Turns out it only takes them two days to build the full Flames of Progress. Uh, and if we pick a beaver, we can see slowly getting a little bit of ore too for that extra lovely bonus working sp uh, walking speed. Okay, so with that done, uh, the new district. Wow, we've even built on the other side of the river. Right, that's well and truly out of range. Uh, that requires some gears. Do we have gears? Uh, we have one gear. Okay, that's good. Alright, drought is over. Water is running again. I've actually dropped the water level. So we get most of this planning done. It does mean the higher level is without water. But as long as we fix that within the next couple of days, it should be fine. Yeah, 11 days, 6 days. We've got about 4 or 5 days before we have to raise the water level back up. Uh, and our new district got the job done and no beavers were lost in the migrating of the population back to Crater Lake. Run beaver, run! Uh, delete. Delete. Nothing bad. See, see, they disappeared. Nothing bad happened at all, ever. It was fine. So, with the new morning coming up, I think it's time we work on the new district, okay? There's a lot to do over here, and it, it's it's going to take some time. Um, the first problem is we have no wood. The beavers literally just came and took everything. Okay, what we need to do is we need to make sure this district's set up. So, we have all of 50 explosives and 9 potatoes. This is, this is going to go downhill real fast. All right, we need to set up a uh, labor. We're going to have, uh, actually, um, so we're going to put in a district. We're going to put in the district center, and I'm going to put it as far away from the main road as possible. We're going to have it off by tile, obviously. Uh, hook the path from there to there because we can't plug it in just yet. Uh, yes, as fast as the beavers are putting things in, they're taking it straight back out. And although we have 270 explosives in stock, and I've des I've I've got a desire of 500 here, none of them being shipped over. So what we're going to do is we're just going to disconnect that outright. We're going to come in here. We're going to put it in a brand new district gate. I can then plug that in. And, oh, we, we, we did get the large water tank in. Excellent. Okay. So, we need to put in uh, a labor, a drop-off point. <sighs> Let's go with here. It's going to make it awkward to get a distribution post in later. Uh, we're going to add a new route to there. I want to ship across grilled potatoes. Uh logs and you're gonna need planks as well uh then this one's also gonna ship across logs oh you also need to ship across explosives uh, explosives and we're gonna ship across more explosives uh 
Is it shorter? For these beavers to go that way. Uh, possibly. I don't know why it goes to green to red so quickly, but sure. Hang on, is that outside the district? That's why. It's outside the district. Okay, I have no idea if they path all the way around or not. Uh, over here, we're going to be shipping in uh, logs from Double Dam. At the same time, uh, you guys have a whole lot of berries. So we're going to ship over berries as well, because we definitely have room for them. We're going to ship in more logs, because... New districts always go through all the logs. And then, uh, as for the new district itself, we ship in some beavers. I have 18 unemployed. That sounds like a great start. Uh, district 7, which needs to be renamed. I'm going to ship over 18 of you. And District 7 is going to be named, renamed District 9, also known as the slums. Uh, yeah, th this place is not going to be a very nice place to live. So we need to build in those paths and those paths, so at least they're accessible. We're going to build right down the main road. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to have the home district put another set of paths in on top. And uh, District 9 needs to get some basics up and running. So we're going to need some lumberjack flags. Uh, we're going to need to set everything. Everything here to be cut because it's all going to be in our way. Uh, we need to up the priority on both of those. Now you guys have, well, no water until the explosives are done. So they're actually super high priority. Oh, you guys got no water overnight. Yeah, I apologize. Uh, yeah. I'm sure I'll be fine. Guys, I'm sure it'll be fine. Flashback. Uh, so we need to get the explosives done first so we can knock out this last little bit of land and get the water in here before we can really start working on this brand new district. Why do beavers put things in the wrong order every time? Okay, with that done, we should be able to knock those out. And more importantly, the water should be able to run in. Which means our pumping stations can start pumping. That's going to be very, very important. But also, we now have a nice strip of a lush green area. Which is good, because the next job we need to do is get in some farms. So we're going to actually work backward. We're going to start with uh, plant crops, carrot. And I want to aim for about 90 odd tiles. So that's going to be our first farmhouse, uh, which is going to have around about 90 tiles worth of carrots around it. Uh, I'm not being too accurate with the counting, you know, it's what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 5, 5, roughly about there, and then we'll throw a farmhouse in the middle. And the plan is to just get some very, very simple food up and running. Now, we're going to need a good amount of food in this district. Because this district's going to have a good amount of beavers in it. Eventually. Eventually. It'll take us a while to get there. But the plan is to, you know, have plenty of beavers in this particular district. At the same time, I'm going to intentionally plant the exact same on the other side of the paths. Uh, we can delete all these extra paths. And then I just need to clear room there, there, and eh, there. Sure, that can be our three farmhouses. Uh, three, six, six farmhouses. All right, the next thing the beavers need to get done is we have some wood, some explosives, actually plenty of explosives. Uh, can we... District limits. 
Explosives 1000, please. Cool. Alright, what we want to do is I actually want to... Path up to here. And then build in... That looks good. And uh, actually, before we do that, labor, I'm going to want a builder's hut, please, uh, in there, because we're going to have some serious building to get done. And the plan is to just, like, remove this whole chunk of, 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 um, of ground, because it's sort of in my way. Uh, the other thing I really need to do is we want access to metal. So how many are, we've got five unemployed beavers. Well, we're gonna have zero unemployed beavers after they get all these jobs done. No, the beavers are not dead. They're just resting their eyes. They'll be fine, I promise. See, what I tell you? They're up and about, they're up and about and off to work. So we have our very first farmhouse in. They're gonna start planting. It's gonna take them a little while. Um, they should get everything planted reasonably quickly. In fact, actually, we've got two farmhouses up and running. Um, so they should get everything planted fairly quickly. Uh, but it's going to be a little while before we actually get housing for these beavers. Oh, wow. We've got zero unemployed already. Uh, you know what? Let's migrate, actually, do, on the off chance, unemployed eight. Uh, over to District 9 you go. Uh, actually, I should look. I think it's about to dry out. Uh, four days, nine days, nine days, two point eight days. Okay. Uh, most of the planning is done in double dam, so we're actually going to raise that all the way back up. Obviously, some f some food was lost in the process. Uh, we're also going to raise that all the way back up, and then unfortunately, when I raise this up as well. We're going to have no power for a little while because no water is going to flow into... No water is going to flow from Double Dam into our canal. No water is going to flow out of our canal into our Crater Lake. And it does mean for a little while I have exactly zero horsepower. Uh, of the 4,000 I require. So, you know, production just went to hell again. Uh, but look, the main district does have a lot of planks, like a lot, a lot of planks. And as for Crater Lake, you guys should be doing fine, but you definitely have a food problem. Uh, one, we, we, we still can't process wheat because I haven't got the drivetrain all the way here yet. Two, you don't actually have enough room to support, well, enough room to grow crops to support 82 beavers. So what we're actually going to do with Crater Lake is we're going to go back to our levees and we're going to extend this right the way out to here, I figure. Because there's nothing to stop us extending Crater Lake out further. Absolutely nothing at all. Okay. So, District 9 has all their beavers in and set for planting. We also need to put in our next two farmhouses. Uh, they've got the paths in, which means we can carpet this whole area with dynamite. So, yes, the plan is to just, just take the top layer off. Um, and then after taking the top layer off, we'll probably take the second layer off to be honest but you know we'll, we'll start with the top layer and then we'll, we'll work our way down all right today's the day when district 9 should have its very first carrots come up to bloom which is also means i'm gonna stop shipping over food uh double dam double dam actually had has 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 a lot of berries so we're gonna keep shipping over berries we could ship over potatoes as well we're not going to ship over potatoes. Uh, yes. And at the same time, double dam. Uh, okay. No, double dam. Double dam, we're going to keep shipping over food. Uh, as for District 9, they have food up and running. Uh, we're going to trim back 
the paths a little bit. So, you know, we can fill in all the blank spots with more explosives. And uh, it's also, I think, you now when District 9 is up and running and self sufficient, we're going to end this episode here. We're going to come back next episode for the big boom because that's a certain amount of material that we're going to have to remove. And then I need to remove the next level. So there's going to be a lot of material to remove. Uh, we do have 10 unemployed builders. Do I build another builder's hut? Oh crap, we've got a lot of explosives. Uh, we're going to build another builder's hut. Uh... Yes. Uh, but yeah, we're going to leave this episode here. District 9's up and running. This, the, 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 the... Oh. No paths. No paths equals no build. Crater Lake is attempting to section off some more more area. At the same time, we finally have more horse, uh, more beaver power than what we're actually using in our production suite, which means I can come up here and add some extra machines, which we might end up doing. And finally, timber is returned to normal. We have a crap ton, which is good. Future proofing myself, that's all. And with the levees put in, if we turn the game speed up, we can definitely see the water is flowing in and around. Actually, I'd need to remove that levee and that levee if we want to run a drive train that way. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, things still to do for the next episode is obviously finish setting up to District 9. At the same time, make sure we get some more food into Crater Lake because food's not great. They're not starving, but food's not great. Uh, we have gone through and planted a whole bunch of pine and some maple and, well, whatever else we could find and put down. And due to the way the water works with the seasons, it's it the water level goes up and down. Uh, plant trees, that's what I want. Maple. And occasionally we'll plant upstream. Probably never. Honestly, probably never. Uh, but maybe we will. Yeah, see what I mean? Water's weird. Water's weird in, in, in Timberborn. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode where we continue out with our domination of this particular map. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next video. All right, bye.